Welcome to this screencast about the software program GeoGebra. In this screencast, we're going to learn how to plot points in GeoGebra, and once those points are plotted, to be able to determine the best fit regression line for those points. So here's the outline of what we're going to be doing. We're going to just plot five points to keep this relatively short, and then we're also going to plot these points in two different ways. The set, second way will actually use the spreadsheet view in GeoGebra, and then we're also going to be determining the best fit regression line for these points. So what you might like to do before we get started is to pause the screencast and quickly jot down this table of values of the five points we're going to use in our example. So here's again the home screen for GeoGebra showing both the algebra view and the graphics view. And probably the easiest way to plot a single point in GeoGebra is simply to enter that point. And we enter that, again, in closed in parentheses as the ordered pair for that point. So we have 0, 3.5, hit enter, and the point is plotted. And of course, we also see it over here in the algebra view. And basically, that's it. We just continue then to plot the points that we have listed. And the next one is 3, 1.8. Another one is 5 minus 0 0.5. And the last one, actually I'm going to intentionally make a mistake with this. I'm going to just enter it as 1.6. And you can see what I want is negative 1.6. And then there's a question of how do, how do we make that correction. Um, either in the algebra view or in the graphics view, if you right click, you'll actually, you can delete it and start over. Or you can ask for the object properties, and you can see in the basic thing, he's got the definition of it, and we can go in there and change that to negative 1.6, and close that part up, and now we've got point E down here, and you can see it's now negative 1.6 in the algebra view as well. Now here's where we get a little specialized with GeoGebra. What we want, what we have is a command for GeoGebra which will determine uh, the, the best fit or regression line for that. Without going into a lot of details about it, if you, this little button over here, if you click that it gives you input help and it will tell you in essence all of the different types of commands that are available in GeoGebra. Uh, the best fit one actually occurs in the statistics menu and you can see a fit line here. And that's the one we're going to use. To get rid of this little menu, just hit this button again. And basically all we're going to type in here is fit line. And as you see the little help pops up and it says put this in brackets and put a list of points. So I put the first bracket, the second one is already filled in, and just go A comma B comma C comma D comma E. Hit enter. And there's the best fit line. And GeoGebra right now is set to round to two decimal places. We can change, remember, we can change that by going to options, rounding, and change to whatever decimal version we would like. And there's a four decimal approximation for that regression line. Quite easy, really, but you do have to remember that one command. The input of the points is also relatively straightforward. You just enter the ordered pairs on the input line. So we're going to start over right now. So I'm going to ask for a new GeoGebra window. And I'm just not going to save this if I wanted to save this. So I just hit save and save it in the appro wherever I would like. So again, I have a blank graphic screen. But now what we're going to do is go up here to the view and ask to view the spreadsheet. 
And basically what we can do is build a table of values in the spreadsheet. And what we're going to do is move this over a little bit. We're really only going to need two columns of the spreadsheet here. And basically we're just going to enter in the spreadsheet the values. So get that clicked in there right. There's zero. Hit the tab. That gets you to the B column and you say 3.5. Now I'm going to hit enter. It jumps back to A and I do 1, 3.3, 3. And again, it's a tab to go over to the next cell, 1.8 and 5 minus 0 0.5. Whoops, went a little too far, but that's okay in a spreadsheet. We go back down here and we can enter 7, negative 1.6. And you can see in the spreadsheet we just have the five points entered and they have not appeared in the graphics view yet. And so the question is, how do we do that? Well, what you click in this first cell here and select, as I drag this down, I select this portion of the spreadsheet. And over here, there's various things you can do. In particular, this one says, notice it's in braces, one, two, it says create a list. Hit the drop down on that, and it says create a list of points. And it'll give you an option to name the list of points that you would like. I'm just going to leave that as list one, and hit create. And now you can see here's a list one. And you can see that that is, if, if I right-click that and ask for the properties, um, oh, it just lists the name as list one. And here's the definition. It's basically the points A, B, C, D, and E. And really, we're not going to do anything with that. That was just to show that. And you notice that now the spreadsheet view is in the way. So we, we really don't need the spreadsheet view anymore. So go over to View, hit Spreadsheet and the spreadsheet view disappears. And of course, what we didn't do in the first set, we can use our move graphics view and move this graph, if we so choose, into a better position. We can also, if we want, readjust the viewing window, like we did before, and we see and we might say, okay, yeah, that looks like a fairly nice picture. And now we just do the fit line command again that we used before. Fit line. And notice again it says list of points. Well again we need the brackets. All I have to do now is type list one. That's my list of points instead of going through A, B, C, D, E. This isn't too bad with only five points, but if you have 12, 15, or 20 points, this is, this is a nice option to cut down on the amount of typing and so forth you have to do. So here's our best fit line, and it should be the same as we had before. Um, you might notice that in, in a graphics view, each point gets labeled, and there may be situations where you don't really want them labeled. And again, that's a fairly simple thing to control. Um, let's, let's look at the point B here. And either in the graphics view, which we would need this select thing, and you can see it just right click that and it show label. And the label is gone. If I do that in the algebra view, same thing. Show label and the label is gone. I can turn them back on in exactly the same way. So one last thing on this screencast, and it's, it's, it's a convenient one to do if you want to import graphs into a word processing document that you would be uh, maybe working on, and we can do that quite easily. What we do is we go to the File menu, and there's an export key. And if you look down the list here, you can save the graphics view in various formats. So what one option is to save the file. This time, all I'm going to do is copy the graphics view to the clipboard. And that's the Windows clipboard. And now that's copied, and I can paste it into other documents. Now I have a copy of Microsoft Word opened here, and you can see the paste is active. 
just hit paste and there's our image in our word processing document and of course once in the word processing document we can resize it as we want and you can see the, the labels there if you look closely the labels for A, D and E are there that's exactly what it was when we closed where we were working in GeoGebra so that's that's our work today and here's a little summary of what we did here's the uh, again the five points we used and here's the best fit line with two decimal po point accuracy that we determined in GeoGebra so I hope this helps good luck with your work with GeoGebra and thanks for watching